Yeah, don't bother the turkey. I don't know what's going on underneath her. Four. There's, there's more under her. Yep, she's hatching them today. They're first coming to life today. Looks like Mama made the decision. And it also looks like they might have all actually hatched. Those are all shells that are left. Hi, sweet girl. No turkeys yet, but the ducks have uh, flew the coop. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, you out looking for your baby mama? Because let's be honest here, I don't know who really is responsible. I didn't know that anyone was responsible, to be honest, because we sent uh, duck eggs to the Arms family and none were fertile. And we thought you two had just been hanging out together and not hanging out with my little deuce. But somebody, somebody, maybe it's not even you two. Maybe it's not. Maybe there's been a, another random visitor. Perhaps, Pablo, is that, the, is that the case? No, it was you. It was you. Well, Adam or Steve, you can be Uncle Adam or Steve. Pablo, I'm gonna go check out your babes. See what mama's doing and see how they're doing. And I'm excited. I'm just excited, okay? I know I can tell you are too. Hey friends. So yesterday, my little duck, Deuce, number two, uh, had babies hatch. And my nephews were here. It was adorable. Oh, look at the babies. Can you see it, babe? No. You can climb up. They might be a little bit. Don't get too close. They were just they fresh hatching. They didn't want an you if you get too close. Yeah, don't bother the turkey. I don't know what's going on underneath her. Three, four. There's, there's more under her. Yep, she's hatching them today. They're first coming to life today. The, why is that turkey white? Because we have lots of different kinds of turkeys. What kind of turkey and there's that? the horse. Don't fall. Don't don't let uh 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 anyone fall. Of course. How many we got there? Four. Of course. They're smart. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. There's one. Six. We got to see her, but she wasn't quite done yet. Um, so we left her where she was and let nature kind of take over. We put out one of the float bowls with water in it so that way they would have access if they needed to. Um, or, you know, it, it when she has them on the hay, it's very hard and challenging of to know when to come down because in her mind, she's like, my babies need water, my babies need food. But it also, she wants to finish hatching as many as possible. So there's like a, a decision, probably a really tough decision that she has to make to decide are the babies that are living the priority or the ones that are still coming the priority and there's a balance in that and I can't imagine how hard that must be. I'm walking back to the back of the hay and it's kind of a, Lester has a little bit of a maze to get back here. I have to like climb hay, step over some boards, go around some other things and up. Oh, hold on. Hey, y'all seen Deuce? Because looks like Mama made the decision. And it also looks like they might have all actually hatched. Those are all shells that are left. Hi, sweet girl. No turkeys yet, but the ducks have uh, flew the coop, per se. Well, hello, Trixie. Have you seen Deuce? Anybody seen Deuce? I should have probably looked a little bit harder out at the front pond. Nobody's down here at all. Sometimes the moms will bring their babies down one at a time and how to make them stay in one spot while she goes to get the rest. But that doesn't appear to be the case either. Trixie, you're in my way, love. All right, let's go back to this jungle gym and go look in the barn, see if that's where they've made their way to. Move, baby, come on. Yep, go over, dads. Okay, all right, okay. Well, this is a problem. This was my float bowl that I put out last night with water in it. And it appears that everything in the barn drank it bone dry. Nobody's back here. Okay. Still water here. It's dirty because ducks. Hello, gentlemen. Good morning. Has anybody seen Deuce? 
She's the, dear, you know, the dark green Muscovy duck. Pablo, Adam receives girlfriend, perhaps. Had some babies. They looked yellow. Floating around with her. Walking around with her. Bucky's, why are you looking at me like that? Have you seen her? Voodoo? Have you seen her? No. Moo. Did you see her walk by you at all? Have you been there a long time? No. All right, nobody has anything to say. Ringo, what about you? You seen a mama duck and some babies, bright yellow in color? No. Y'all are pretty useless right now. I'm not gonna lie. I'll be back to change your water in a minute. I know, mom's got lots of chores to do. Okay, let's see if they've made their way this way. So when Deuce was born, she was one of 17 babies and she belonged to our sweet Louise. And her mama had them under this deck, we believe. And she took this path of going straight out to the front pond. It was the neatest thing. I was on a Zoom call one day and all of a sudden I look outside and here comes a mama with baby ducks that we didn't even know were happening. So let's go check out the front pond. Maybe I missed it. So Louise, when she had those 17 babies was like the most amazing mom. Number 17, who was the little duck who just kept getting left behind. She was slower than everybody else. And I ended up bringing her inside and helping her come back to life a few times. Um, she was an amazing mom. It was so crazy to watch her walk with these little ducklings all in a row, all the way out to this pond and just take complete ownership of all of them. Uh, there were so many that we couldn't keep them all here. Louise from our, um, our friends at the bird sanctuary ended up taking them and helping raise them uh, and then found them all good homes. All right, let's take a look out here. Uh, I do not see Deuce and any babies out here. I see my mallards and my khaki campbells and my ruins. I see the geese. But there is no mama that I can see from this point. Sorry about the wind. It looks like a Well, hi, Tilly. Have you, uh, have you seen a mama and some baby ducks out here, maybe? You're getting a good itching, a little scratch. Got an itchy spot on your chest. Oh, that's fun. You gonna jump on the trampoline? Well, here come all the geese and the rest of the feathers. So I know that if mama was out there, she would have walked up with the rest of these guys because they're all like, hey, did you bring food? And mama has got to be looking for food. All right, this makes me a little bit nervous. I don't see a mama and babies anywhere. And I would have thought if she took them anywhere, she took them to the pond. And she didn't take them to this pond, even though this is where her mama brought her. All right make my way to the back to see maybe nanny goat have you seen a baby mama and her babies at all no no okay nobody seems to want to have any concerns or cares about what anyone else is doing today is a very inward day i guess for many buddy have you seen a duck and some babies mm, no oh Gray Goose, you're really good with babies. You seen any lately? Nope. I'm just making one more scan across to make sure I didn't miss anything. All I see is some turtles on the outside and Waylon and Jolene out back there. Well, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but it's not the only pond. Sister Kim has a pond over here. There is a way, way, way out there, other pond. I call it the Mirage Pond because you can't see it from anywhere until you get up on it. There is one in the big, actually there's two in the bigs pasture, one in the front part, one in the back part. So let's go check those. I can't imagine that she would have brought anything over to Sister Kim. Jeez, buddy, that was gross. I'm gonna take one scan over here before I walk to the back. I can't imagine she would go to Sister Kim's pond she just doesn't seem like, I've never seen her in Sister Kim's pond is what I meant. No, 
the last time that Deuce, oh no, 17 had babies, 17 did take them over to here. I miss 17 and I know Pablo misses 17 like crazy too. No, I don't see, I see no mama and babies over this way. All right, let's go try the back. This is one of the times where I really don't want Trixie to come with me. I don't, I'm not seeking help here. I don't want her to disturb what's going on. I really just wanted this to be a me trip, Trixie. I was not at all needing support. Man, this pond, you can barely see it's a pond. It's got so much junk growing on top of it right now. That's crazy. I know that weird things happened last summer and uh, the drought really created a lot of strange stuff for us. I don't see any ducks here. So that's not cool officially. We got one more place to look. I imagine if mama came back here, she's like, hey, this is not, this is not how I remember it being. Because a few weeks ago, it wasn't like that. I don't even know what that stuff is called, but I'm gonna have to look into it and get that cleared up because I don't think it's supposed to be there. Oh, and the guineas are back here. I'm happy they're back here, not up at the front of the house. Lord knows Lester be losing his ever loving mind over it. So this pond scares me because snakes and I don't know, turtles, alligator, I don't like this pond very much, but it is the oldest pond on our property. So, I guess it's a, as good as any to go to, but it does have some of that stuff growing on it too. Ritzy, I don't need your help. Uh-oh, I saw something. I found mama. How many babies do you have, Deuce? Ritzy, she doesn't want your help. Oh, also scares me. She doesn't want your help, love. Look, I found my little Deucey here. I think that I see definitely two yellows and maybe five others. Girls, you're not helping the cause here. They're like, it's hot, mom, it's hot. It is a hot Texas day and it's beautiful. And my little Ritzy, you have moss on your tail. Her limp is getting a little bit better. I still don't really know what happened to her. Um, I thought she just had a sticker in her foot because she wouldn't put any weight or pressure on that foot. Now she has a weird skip. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Farm things happen, y'all. I wanna get a better look at how many babies that we have, but I have to walk very gingerly along the edge here because I'm scared to step in something like a snake. Hold on. Deuce, bring me your babies. I can't count like that. They're not swimming in a row. They're swimming on her side. She's like, here, hide. Hide on this side. Everyone to the left. Everyone to the left. Man. Baby, I want to see them. I'm happy they found water. I'll say that. But what a long journey that they had to get back here, though. Look how far all those little guys walked. Now, is she going to bring them up every night to nest? That feels so crazy to me. I want to help her, but I know that she brought them here for a reason and didn't go up front for a reason. Maybe she's worried about what the geese were going to do to these babies. Maybe some of the other ducks are dangerous. I think that it's dangerous this journey and thinking about the hawks that are paying attention along the way because that's far. Like really far for those tiny little babes to make their way in this. They must be exhausted and now they're learning how to swim. They're about 24 hours old. This is crazy to me. Absolutely crazy to me. How fast things move. She's bringing them by. That's super sweet. Hi, Mama. I think we have five. Five and two is what it looks like to me. I think we have five and two. Two yellows and five mix. 
we'll just call it mix five stripes two yellows five stripes I'm scared for her their journey to come all the way out here is so exposed and, and this pond is so exposed and oh they're making me nervous can you swim by here one more time so I can see them oh they're so cute even from far away they're so cute I know her mom did this, but her mom did it at the front pond and there's a little less chance of predators because the dogs run around up there. The dogs don't really run around back here. They're back here because I'm back here right now, but they don't they don't sit here and scan and we're at a pretty big risk right now for hawks. Out here in the open, look. We're out here in the open. Not to mention snakes and alligators and turtles and anything else predator wise they have to be exhausted these poor poor babes mama you must be exhausted too oh i love them so much i think we have two two whites and five stripes oh welcome to the family little ones Look at them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I think there's six. Six stripes and two whites. I think they are. Maybe. Yes, we have eight babies. Oh my goodness, Deuce. They're beautiful. Oh, I can't believe that they've made it all the way out here on their own. What a good mama.